Okay, hello everyone. Today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in Just Flight's Piper Turbo Arrow 4. We have a 93 nautical mile flight from Tango Echo Bravo Teterboro to Papa November Echo Northeast Philadelphia. Teterboro is a payware airport and it's one of my favorite ones to fly out of. We'll be using the Hudson River Exclusion Special Flight Rules to navigate the Bravo. I've done this flight before, but today we have a payware edition. So newly released Sam Scene 3D's New York Times should give us some awesome eye candy for the New York skyline along the way. So let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. Hands down, Teterboro and Van Eyes are my two favorite payware airports to fly general aviation aircraft out of, and I look for an excuse to do flights from them. Our interior livery is the Clean Megapack livery. I'll put the link there so that you too can enjoy it. So as we run through the startup checklist, I'll take you through the flight brief. So we are taking off from Teterboro, which is a Class D airport. It's nestled under the New York Bravo. The Bravo shelf here starts at 1,800, and then the next shelf is 3,000. With the Bravo all around us, we have some complex air spaces, but fortunately, there is an exclusion carved into the Bravo for general aviation aircraft. The Hudson River Exclusion has special flight rules, and there is actually an online course by the FAA that's a 15-minute slideshow that explains it to you. So this is a corridor that's carved out over the Hudson River. There's actually a second corridor that's carved out over the East River that's primarily for helicopter traffic, uh, but we'll be using the Hudson one. Over the Hudson is the Skyline route that's inside of the Bravo and requires a Bravo transition. We won't be using that. But beneath that, there's a flight area for local operations and transient operations that allows you simply to make CTAF calls, similar to doing a uh, LAX transition using special flight rules. Local operations are below 1,000, transient are 1,000 to 1,300. That's where we'll be operating at 1,100. The rules are actually pretty simple. We'll be making CTAF calls in 123.05, and there are required mandatory reporting points. The north end of the exclusion starts at the Alpine Tower, and the south end of the exclusion ends at the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. The required reporting points are published on the FAA's uh, VFR Special Flight Rules Hudson Exclusion Map. So those include the George Washington Bridge, the Intrepid, the Colgate Clock, and the Statue of Liberty. Traffic needs to hug the coastline and fly counterclockwise in its circuit around the Hudson. And there are some other requirements such as having landing lights on uh, and a maximum speed limitation for the route. But overall, it's actually pretty easy to follow. Once we depart the Bravo and get over New Jersey, then we can climb up to 4,500 feet. We're going to use the Robbinsville VOR to navigate ourselves to KPNE. There are some other visual waypoints that we could use, such as the New Jersey Turnpike. Uh, but the VOR, I think, will be the easiest for this. As we get close to KPNE, we'll have the Philly Bravo to contend with. Its shelf starts at 3,500 over KPNE, so we'll need to make sure that we remain below that to avoid a Philly Bravo transition. As always, we are streaming Live ATC from liveatc.net for the airport that we're taking off of, which is Teterboro. Uh, I'm going to stick to the runways that they're actually using uh, on comms here. Uh, for something different, I've installed the plugin Live Traffic from FlightSim.to. It should pull ADSB traffic, and in theory, you should be able to see live traffic and hear from Live ATC the comms from that live traffic. So if that works out, that would be awesome. Uh, my experience is, though, it's, uh, it's hard still to get traffic even with live traffic. I'd love to find a solution for Microsoft Flight Simulator like Global Traffic or World Traffic from X-Plane that injects a lot of general aviation traffic into the simulator. Uh, whether you use Microsoft Flight Simulator's you know, uh, live players, live traffic, uh, or even online services like VATSIM, there's just not a lot of general aviation aircraft traffic uh, to see, uh, which is too bad for some place like Teterboro that's probably brimming with it in real life. Teterboro ground, November 359er Golf Charlie, signature west with information India, taxi for north departure. Taxi runway 24 via Quebec, hold short, runway 19er, November 359er Golf Charlie. Okay, we've got four flight up here, showing our location at the airport, and one of the cool things about four flight is you can hit the pencil icon and annotate your map, so we're going to draw our taxi route, although it's pretty simple. Okay, have a look around. 
We are clear on our right. Clear on our left. Clear straight ahead. And let's go. We are squawking VFR uh, because they're going to drop us like a hot potato once we get out of their tower range. And from there on in, it's just CTAF calls. So uh, once we leave tower, we'll switch over to the special flight rules exclusion frequency and make our calls on that as we enter the exclusion. Teterboro ground, November 359er Golf Charlie, holding short, runway 19er. Cross, runway 19er, continue runway 24 via Quebec, November 359er Golf Charlie. Teterboro ground, November 359er Golf Charlie, holding short, runway 24. Cleared for departure, runway 24, right downwind departure approved, November 359er Golf Charlie. Rotate, and that came up really nice and smooth. Positive rate, gear up. All right, we're going to turn crosswind. You can see four flight up here on the right. Turning right downwind, and then we're going to continue straight out of downwind uh, to depart the airport. Ordell Reservoir is a nice visual waypoint, so as soon as we got this in sight, all I need to do is follow it and it's going to curve along and point me right at Alpine Tower. So this will bring me just north of Alpine Tower. You can see that I've got it there on the right side of my view. Now it's just off the right wing, so we are about to enter the north end of the exclusion. All right, we're looking good. Let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery.
Okay, I always love flying the special flight rules of the Hudson River Exclusion, and if you haven't tried it, you should give it a shot. There's awesome visual eye candy along the way, and it's just fun. The entire thing is very visual and VFR, so if you like general aviation, take off out of Teterboro, fly the route, and you'll have a great time. Had a little bit of trouble lining up on the landing there, and uh, that's just popping back and forth between the turbo versus the non-turbo versions. I find the Warrior flies a lot differently than the Turbo Arrow 4 T-Tail, uh, but I'll get used to it. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to leave me a comment, click that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, as always, for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.